Hey guys, we're doing the Shadowverse Roundtable, Echo Fox style. Uh, I'm Kier Mango, uh, player for Echo Fox, and this is Gengar, the other Shadowverse player for Echo Fox. And we're here to talk about uh, the SVO that happened uh, last weekend, um, our results, what we felt going into it, um, and the meta. For myself, I, I, I was pretty confident I was going in. I brought like a kind of riskier lineup, but um, hmm. in the end I got 6-2. It's it's good, but not good enough for like a top eight cut. Top eight usually you want seven one to be like top eight, but I got seventeenth place. Uh, not the best, but not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Um, and uh, I lost to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's bound to happen when when we're we're both four and zero. Oh, the yeah. chances of us facing each other are just so high. And um, what's crazy is after I lost to you, I lost again, and I was so like out of it. But like I was like trying to come back and then after that mm -hmm. it was like smooth sailing from that but yeah, you knew yeah. my strategies and stuff which kind of like messed up the entire thing for me <laughs> yeah because i i didn't know exactly what i wanted to bring uh into the tournament so i ended up bringing uh ramp dragon prince of kakaitis dragon um mysterio rune and arcus shadow so i was sure i was gonna bring arcus shadow into the tournament um then i was like kind of hesitant on the other two decks because there's so many decks in this meta and there's like so many decisions, like what are other people going to bring? What do you think is going to probably do better? People were saying Mysterio Rune wasn't as good as they thought it would be. But when I played in the tournament, I didn't lose a single game with it. So it was definitely the right choice. It was definitely the right choice. And then you talked me into playing the Dragon deck, and that did really well. That, that deck is amazing. In, in, a, in a format where like a, there's a lot of going to be a lot of dragons, um, that Dragon deck beats the mirror. I've like tested mm -hmm. it with a lot of my other friends. and people who actually are really good at the game and yeah it's the, the best dragon deck in this format and in, in, the, in the end uh, you got there that's really really strong and this at the start of the season uh of course i wanted to be that top eight but like like you said i i only lost to you and it's it brought me down a lot and i lost to someone else um so yeah it was yeah. it was good showing for both of us i think uh any of your decks you found performed the weakest uh for me our Ar arcus shadow Mm -hmm. was the weakest deck, as in I got the most losses with it, but it had matchups where I felt like it was really, really good for me. Um, the matches I lost ended up being usually mere matches, which was just... I, 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 I could, could decided by the first first turn, they end up with a goblin. I don't have a goblin to go first. It's really rough. Forest was kind of a slope. It either won mm -hmm. or lost. Uh, but it performed well enough to, like, you know, get me to 6 twos. But it, I guess all my... I think... The weakest was actually Mysterio for me. I've, I've actually lost a lot with that, but I think it was just uh, because people are targeting it and they're not banning it. So that's why I think I've been a little bit poorly with that. But other than that, it's pretty good. So we got to play right after the um, the changes. So the, the, the nerfs and the buffs uh, patch where um, Europe had to play with uh, without them. Like they, they, play, they did the first week. But our metas were actually kind of different. Uh, but similar in a way. So uh, the nurse affected a lot of the decks yeah. that were brought. Um, Sword was like on top mm -hmm. for the European side, but now for us, it's nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. Really badly. Uh, but overall, like the expansion is actually really diverse. Like decks have two th uh, two ways to play them. Like dragon, you could either go storm, you could go heavy ramp. You could um, you have shadow where you could go mid range, or you could go Arcus. Aggro force, you could go. Or you can go core well. Like the meta is actually really good. I think this is mm -hmm. the best meta in terms of like, uh, like diversity and not too much broken mechanics. Except Mysteria is kind of leaning on the broken side, but not really. Mm -hmm. but, I every person in top eight had a rune in their lineup. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's my note, and I think only one of them would burn. Maybe two. I think only one of them would burn. The rest of them Mysteria. Yeah. And Juke ran burn. I know that. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that's the that's kind of the the deck to to beat. But you can target it. Um, so there's lines up that, lineups that target it. Uh, but uh, even though those lineups where they didn't ban my my Mysterio rune, I it finds a way. It finds a way yeah, to round yeah, every no. every matchup. What are your thoughts about no land events for the first part of the year? Um, it's interesting. The the, the best part of land events is seeing all of your friends, all of the players yeah. you just. Oh, you only get a chat on one with online. Uh, 
the so last year was the first year they did land events it was kind of hit and miss with certain things um but i felt like they kind of as it went on they smoothed it out uh i know the one the dream hack in france the players that showed up didn't there wasn't that many uh because of the first one and then uh singapore uh they were kind of new to setting up the tournaments there was a little bit of lag that took forever to start um, but it, it, at the end, it ran pretty well. And then the one in um, Montreal ran without a hitch. It was, I think that one was really good. Aside from a few small things, that they wasn't really their problem. It was just DreamHack. Which locations do you want to, to visit? If they if there's going to be three, one for each region. For each region. So Korea. one for, for Pan. Oh, no, no, not Korea. One for Pan, one for South um, East Asia Oceanic, and one for Europe. I don't know. I, I want over here to be a little bit closer to where I live, like the one in Pam. Just mm. because like the one that I went to was like six hour flight. It was it was still really fun. Montreal was really fun. Um but it's a little bit closer it would be like fine too. I still yeah, want I wouldn't to be mind Vancouver. So far away. Vancouver would be nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a lot or of people Texas are Texas or something like that. On the uh, West Coast. Uh but for the Europeans who wanna co- come over, it's just even longer. It's, <laughs> it's, um a lot of people have been saying like the uh, the stream hack is going to be in te- uh, this one for Pam is going to be in Texas. Mm, especially. That's a good um, good chance. I think it is going to be in Texas. It probably is going to be in Texas. But for like all the Euro- dude, all the European countries are so like good, uh, good places to put a tournament. Mm. I'm not really sure. What do you think about teamwork and and team kills like we had <laughs> in the last one? Like those those things are bound to happen. Uh, giving out uh, information about yourself and what you're trying to do is like super du- uh, like a double-edged sword like mm. especially with your situation i told you everything i was gonna do and it actually kind of uh you know you you abused it did really mm. well against me um played just won against me too um but i yeah teamwork in this game is really important you need to like know a lot um mm. you can't know everything you can't play every single deck possible like 20 30 times you're just mm. one person so talking with others um asking for their opinion is something that i do a lot on my spare time I, I go around asking this guy for opinion if it's wrong it's right if it's right it's right you know um but you know you, you have to build your own opinion make sure you back it up with facts with other people's statistics and you know uh just get as much information as possible it's really important especially and having another person to like communicate with you is like already super beneficial yeah, so. I, I wouldn't have brought in the lawn up if I and I brought if I didn't uh, go with you and a few other people exactly. over it. Yeah, exactly. So it definitely changes a lot about how you think about the mm-hmm. game, and you have to be open minded, especially in a card game where you can't test everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad to have you as a team member. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do uh, last part of the segment of the show. We're gonna do a lightning round of questions. Uh, go ahead, Gengar. Send me some questions. All right, favorite game other than Shadowverse. Game other than Shadowverse, uh, Dark Souls, easy. Okay, okay, it's fast. Um, who is your favorite Shadowverse player? Uh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Okay>. maybe, <laughs> maybe, right. maybe uh, if, if aside from you, maybe Silent, Silent Slayer. He's a really good okay. guy. Yeah, I like I like watching him too. <laughs> uh, follow up this, this, this is, is gonna cause some problems. Who is your <laughs> least favorite Shadowverse player? Oh, uh, hmm. I don't know. I like everyone. I, I don't. That's I, a I don't lie. Just... That's a lie. You have to answer <laughs> it. The first thing that pops in your head, just say it. Oh, uh, no one's caused me any trouble. I don't want. I don't want to cause anyone any trouble. That's that's my answer. <laughs> that's my no least favorite. Uh, uh, I can, I can do that easy. <laughs> Crumption is my least favorite. Easy. All right. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite Shadowverse streamer. Shadowverse streamer. You know, uh, honestly, I don't watch a lot of streams uh, for Shadowverse. Uh, watch my stream. Watch me. Okay. Yeah. Least favorite Shadowverse stream. Uh, what was his name? He always got mad when he, when he quit the the scene altogether. <laughs> Solik. Solik, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, I guess that's it. You have any questions for me? All right. Uh, favorite food. Um, chicken. Uh, what anime is watching this season? Uh, Shield Hero. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's good. 
Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a good one, yeah. It's a good one. Uh, who you main in Smash? Because I know you play Fox. more Smash. Fox. Fox. Why Fox? Because he's super fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you eat for breakfast? Uh, McDonald's. <laughs> I don't really? cook. <laughs> yeah, I ate a McChicken for breakfast. <laughs> if you want to go specific. I don't have many more questions. I'm not a drama guy. Dude, don't, should, don't, should, don't get me say, starting on drama. Say, say who's your least favorite streamer. My least favorite streamer? Solek? No, 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 that's for me. It oh, wait, who's your least favorite streamer? All right, all right, um, I'll, I'll bite. Okay, I, I have to think about it. Oh, wow. I thought <laughs> I had something one. But I actually I actually like his stream. I was going to say Potwasher, but I actually like his stream. Oh, he's, yeah, he's a very informative. He's a like, really good streamer. I just want oh, to start so, drama. All I'm right, sorry I don't, uh, I don't, I don't like watch a lot of other Shadowverse streams, but I'm, I'm really glad when they come and uh, give me a host. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I appreciate that a lot, but I, I, the time that I'm not streaming, I'm, I have to do other stuff. Like, I don't have time to watch other streams. Actually, you know what? I watch Lose the Panda a lot, actually. Ooh. When I have time, I watch Lose the Panda because he's super chill. Uh, yeah. Shadowverse Lose the Panda. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, our next tournament is the PAM uh, SVO. Uh, for February, which is on the 16th and 17th. Uh, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash cure underscore mango. And you can catch Gengar at twitch.tv slash Gengar, LOL. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.